In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NH4OH. This is copper to sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. You can see that I have these two ammonium ions here and only one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the ammonium hydroxide. That balances the ammonium ions, but now I have two of these hydroxides. That's great because I have two here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Sulfates in general are very soluble. Copper sulfate, copper two sulfate that is, very soluble. AQ, it's going to be aqueous. Compounds with the ammonium ion are almost always soluble. So that's going to be aqueous. But hydroxides, in general, they're insoluble, especially this transition metal here, copper. So this is going to be insoluble. That means it's not going to dissolve. It's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well. Then we have ammonium sulfate, ammonium compounds we said are very soluble, AQ. We have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So copper two sulfate. Sulfate has an ionic charge of two minus. That's a good one to know. And then copper can be 1 plus or 2 plus. But since we have 2 minus here, it has to be a 2 plus. So we have the copper 2 ion. And I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus the sulfate ion. The ammonium compound, great one to remember, has a 1 plus ionic charge. The hydroxide, 1 minus. Two ammonium ions. And then two of these hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we do not split solids apart. So we just keep it as CuOH2. This is copper 2 hydroxide. We have ammonium. It's positive sulfate, we said, is 2 minus. So we have two of these ammonium ions. So two ammonium ions. And then the sulfate ion. So these are the reactants for the net ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I see I have a sulfate ion. In the products, I also have a sulfate ion. So that can be crossed out. I have two ammonium ions here in the reactants and two in the products. We can cross that out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for copper two sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide. I'll clean it up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NH4OH. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus. That gives us a 2 minus. 2 plus and 2 minus, that equals 0. Net charge of 0, neutral compound. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.